the town of Floyd, one of the first warm Friday nights of the year. Deborah Harris is set up to sell a homemade clay instrument called an ocarina. She's expecting a pretty good night. Wednesday nights in Floyd, you, you think it was a ghost town. <laughs> but Friday nights, it all comes up to life. <laughs> that, as it turns out, is an understatement. The Floyd Country Store, one of the easternmost stops on the Crooked Road music trail. It's an eclectic mix where overalls and country kitsch meet an underlying sophistication that's hard to define. It draws people from all over the place, visitors, locals, young people, and uh, people from, you know, the alternative community. It, it's kind of the one place I've ever been that really knits a lot of different interests together. This night, the store is hopping. It's $5 a seat to get in. Not that everyone needs one. You can't deny how popular this all is. There's not an open seat in the place. And there's about 100 people that are locals. They come every Friday night. Everyone else, they come from as far away as Europe. Crenshaw is willing to give away a hat to prove We like to present a gift to the person who has arrived here tonight from the furthest away. Alaska, Italy, China. China, it is. The Crooked Road, nobody started it. It was a killer application that was discovered. Todd Christensen is considered one of the founders of the Crooked Road Music Trail, a network of venues from Rocky Mount to the Kentucky border, all with ties to mountain music. So you had a concept, has it worked? Oh my God, yeah. It's, uh, it's, there's people here from all over the world every week. I think we're, we're still going up. I think that it's one of the few things that you could say is really authentic American. Authentic seems to be the key. During our interview, a jam session starts on the steps across from the store. No one is paying them to play. This is their Friday night. And then, at the barber shop, next to the Floyd Country Store. Without a word, oh, you call us home. The musicians are as much a part of the crowd as the people who come to see them. The same could be said for the flat footers who need the music to dance. Well, I think it's, it's pretty much the real deal. It, it has organically just grown. We haven't tried to steer it. We, we bring musicians, we, people come, they get some, something to eat, they relax, and it has kind of a, a life of its own. As a result, five of the top 10 tourist counties in Virginia, says Christensen, are now in what has been the poorest part of the state. So is this gonna outdistance Colonial Williamsburg someday? Well, we, th we think that day's not too far off. Probably there's nowhere else in the country that understands the creative economy and where it's headed to attract high-tech businesses, high-end entrepreneurs through a quality of life in Southwest Virginia. Please make welcome to the Floyd Country Store stage from West Virginia and various surrounding areas, the Hands Creek Band. The warmer the weather, the bigger the crowd. And as the night goes on, the small town floods with the sound of simple acoustic mountain music. Authentic, organic growth could well be a crooked road to prosperity. In Floyd, John Carlin for the Fox 2127, 10 o'clock news.